Hello, I'm Tom Vilsack, United States Secretary of Agriculture, and today I'd like to talk to you about something that threatens the health and vitality of our nation's pork industry, and that's African swine fever. This disease does not affect people, and it cannot be transmitted from pigs to humans, and it's not a food safety issue. However, African swine fever is a devastating swine disease that is spreading around the world right now, ruining livelihoods and disrupting trade. Outbreaks have ravaged hog population in parts of Europe and Asia, especially China, over the last three years. And the disease was recently detected in captive hogs in Germany and confirmed less than a thousand miles away from our shores in the Dominican Republic in July. African swine fever has never been detected in the United States. However, it is a very real threat to our pork industry. In 2020, U.S. pork producers marketed over 131 million pigs. These sales were valued at more than $19 billion in cash receipts and provided over 28 billion pounds of meat to consumers worldwide. At USDA, we continue to do everything we can to help keep African swine fever out of our country. We have a series of interlocking safeguards to prevent this disease from entering the United States. And we also believe that we have a solid plan for stamping it out if it ever gets here. USDA researchers have engineered experimental African swine fever vaccine candidates that have been licensed to several commercial companies worldwide. And some of these companies have entered into collaborative agreements with the USDA to further develop and eventually use these vaccines to control and stop the spread of African swine fever. Within the U.S., we're working with many partners, including states, veterinarians, and industry organizations to raise awareness of this devastating disease and how it could spread. We're working with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection to increase screening of passengers and baggage coming into the U.S. from affected areas to ensure illegally brought and potentially contaminating pork products are intercepted. People can also unknowingly carry this disease into the United States on their clothing or shoes, so we're working to educate all international travelers about the risk. Protecting the U.S. hog herd is a critical priority for the entire team at USDA, but we cannot do it alone. We want everyone who comes in contact with pigs from the large farm owner to people who own a small miniature pig and even international travelers and petting zoo visitors to understand how easily this disease can spread and the importance of keeping our U.S. pigs free from this disease. Now, if you own a pig, whether it's a commercial production, a 4-H show, or a hobby, or a pet, you have to be vigilant about your biosecurity practices to ensure that you don't bring the virus into any herd. Additionally, be aware of the signs of African swine fever and report any sick animals to your veterinarian right away. You can also help us spread the word about this disease, especially to anyone who owns pigs or travels internationally. Help others understand the ways this disease can be transmitted the importance of biosecurity, and why it's critical to declare international farm visits and items they bring back to the United States to customs. Here at the USDA, we are prepared to respond if this disease does get into the United States, but we're hoping that with your help, we can prevent it from getting here in the first place. For more information about African swine fever and the work USDA is doing, please visit www dot aphis dot usda dot gov. That's www.aphis.usda.gov. Thank you.